So to address this, our study followed children from birth to five years old, examining their emotional, behavioral, motor, and language development. And we found no evidence that postnatal SSR use had a negative impact on these outcomes. Of course, our study has its limitations. So it is essential for clinicians to weigh the risk and benefits of different treatment options for each individual. Our study adds valuable insight to the mixed finding on the safety of perinatal SSR use for children. Many early earlier studies on postnatal SSR use and child-related outcomes have been limited by small sample sizes and the lack of long-term follow-up. One of our study's main strengths is its large sample size. When we had over 60,000 mother-child pairs in Norway and the fact that we followed the children up to five years of age. So this scope allowed us to address some of the limitations of previous research.